Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. You know in a previous tip I showed you how to take a DVD and put it on a USB drive and be able to watch that DVD via USB on either a Windows or a Mac computer. It's pretty easy to do. Since posting that video I've been asked by a number of people how do you put multiple DVDs on that single USB drive. And in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy to do. First thing you want to do is go to noobsiberian.com slash dvd dash on usb dot html and download their software. And once you download it, you will want to unzip it. And when you unzip it, it's going to look like this. Now there are a number of files here, and as before, what we do is we copied all these and put them on a USB. But we don't want to do that quite yet. What we want to do is put a blank USB stick in our computer, and I put one here. And you can see that I've created a folder here called DVD1. Now, this is a subfolder, and people have asked me how to create subfolders on USB drives, and it's the same as you would put subfolders anywhere else. In order to do it, you just right click, come down to New, and put Folder. So let's say I create a, a folder for DVD2. What I want to do in each of these folders is to copy that software that I downloaded before. Let's go back and look at that. These are the tools we downloaded from New Siberian, and I'm going to copy everything that I need. And to select those, I just hold down my Control key and select each one of those, right click, and then choose Copy. Then I go back to my USB drive and choose the folder where I want to put these. Now I want to put one of my DVDs in DVD1, so I'm going to open that one, and I've already copied it, and you can see that it's there. Now you can see in this folder there's another folder called Video TS, and that's where we're going to put our DVD. And to do that, we have to place the DVD disc in our computer, and when we do, it'll show us a couple of files. The file we want is the Video TS. We right click, and we select Copy. We go back to our USB drive, and we go to the DVD1 folder, and we paste in the Video TS folder we copied from our DVD. It'll use up at least five gigabytes of space on your USB drive, and it'll take anywhere from a minute to several minutes, depending how fast your USB stick is. Once you do have it there, if you click Play on PC, the DVD will start playing. Now remember, we've got this in a folder called DVD1. This is our USB stick. I've got another folder called DVD2. And I could do the same thing in DVD2. What we did before is we copied everything from the New Siberian and put it in that folder. Then we copied the Video TS and put it in that folder. And it'll give us a folder that looks just like that first one. So when we put the USB stick in our computer, it's going to show us there are a couple of folders. And to play the first DVD, you just select the DVD folder and click Play DVD on PC. And to play the second DVD, you do the same thing. And to play the third DVD, you do the same thing. So basically what you're doing is you're just creating subfolders that have the new Siberian software on them plus the video TS from your DVD. It may sound complicated, but it's just a matter of right-clicking, choosing new, and then folder, and giving that new folder a name. Now you can call it anything you want. For this video, I'm just calling them DVD1, DVD2, DVD3, so you understand. Now because each DVD is going to take anywhere from 4 gigabytes to 12 gigabytes, you're going to need a relatively large USB drive but it does work. And when you put this USB drive in your computer, it's going to look like this. You click on the folder that you want to play, and you click Play DVD on PC. Pretty easy to do. Again, we started by going to the newsiberia.com slash website and downloading the DVD on USB. Once you do that, most of the hard work is done. One thing I noted in the previous video, which I'm going to note again here, is the software from New Siberian has lots of files on it. And if you're playing this on a Mac, you're going to need the Play DVD on Mac app. But if you're not playing this on a Mac, you don't need to copy that folder over. And that'll save you a lot of space on your USB drive. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.